Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Airbus A320 Neo. Um, what we're going to have a look at today is the protections that are built in to the Airbus A320, and basically we're going to put them to the test. So let's just jump into the cockpit. And we are somewhere over northern New Zealand today. It looks very nice, doesn't it? I thought I'd pick somewhere a little bit different to try this out. Currently at 20,000 feet, so we've got a bit of height in case anything here goes uh, wrong. We've got time to recover. What we're going to have a look at is the different laws that the A320 covers and has. Now, in everyday operations, the aircraft fires in what's called normal law. That means everything is working as it should be. There's then the next downgrade of that, which is if something goes wrong with one of the computers or you lose one of the instruments, etc., you can be downgraded into what's called alternate law, in which case some of these protections are lost. Not all of them, um, but some of them are, depending on what... Uh, what what the reason for being downgraded into alternate law and then finally is the very basic one where you move into direct law and usually the only reason that you're in direct law is if you have been in alternate law then once you actually uh, bring the landing gears down you get uh, you get moved into direct law so on final approach you're in full control of uh, the aircraft now what i have noticed is that all these laws are not really that well um, implemented yet in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Normal law seems to be absolutely fine, but the alternate law and direct law, not quite so much. There's uh, still work to be done there, but hey, it's still early days, so uh, I'm sure that will come. But for now, let's have a look at the protections that are built into normal law. So, on your everyday flight, then you will have in the Airbus a high angle of attack protection, high speed protection, a load factor limitation, and that's very important, make sure we keep all the passengers comfortable. Uh, the flight augmentation, which looks at the yaw, a pitch attitude protection, and bank angle protection. So we're going to put these to the test now, and what we're going to have a look at, first of all, is our uh, bank angle. So if I just turn off the autopilot. So the first thing to know as well is if you're new to the Airbus is that the aircraft almost flies exactly where you point it to go, uh, which can feel very strange if you're coming from a different aircraft and you're not familiar with it. Just to give you a quick example of that, if I turn to the left, I zoom down here so you can actually look at the side stick and I then let go of the side stick you can see that the aircraft continues to bank to the left with no further input from me and the only way to bring that back would be for me to actually move the side stick over to the right to bring the wings back uh, back level again uh, same thing with pitch as well if I pull up slightly and let go then you will see the aircraft continues to hold that pitch and it has automatic trimming engaged and that's just a, a feature of uh, the Airbus no need to manually trim the aircraft it will do it all for you so let's just lower the nose again and get stable flight If we do that, and I've just let go of the side stick, and you can see now that once we get our, uh, I want to get the VSB to uh, roughly zero, so I can uh, put these protection tests into place. Okay, so first things first, the aircraft is limited to a bank angle of 33 degrees, unless you as the pilot decide that you are going to uh, bank hard and keep hold of the side stick so the one thing that you can't see on here because they haven't yet implemented it is what it should have is two little green equal signs one here and one here at either side show you where that uh, where that protection uh, is engaged now you can only bank the aircraft 
to a maximum of 67 degrees which is where these green equal signs would be so if I just come out of here and start banking over to the left and we'll watch the yellow the yellow triangle up here it's going 10 20 30 keep going keep going keep going I'm still holding it over to the left however now no matter how far I pull it I cannot bank any harder than that now watch what happens when I let go so I've let go of the side stick you can see it writing itself and it's brought us back to that bank angle of 33 degrees and it will hold that bank angle of 33 degrees until I level the wings again manually and I just need to pull up so we don't overspeed you of course would never bank that severely with passengers on board if you're using self-loading cargo I don't think you're going to get a good flight report at the end of that okay so that first protection works you can bank hard over to a maximum of 67 degrees but you uh, can't bank in excess of 33 degrees unless you are holding the side stick full left or uh, or full right the moment you release the side stick it returns to that 33 degree bank it's then up to you to return the uh, the wings back to level flight so that's good to know that the bank angle protection works let's next look at the pitch protection so the pitch is limited to 30 degrees up and 15 degrees down so let's pop that to the test then so if I pull back here on the side stick see us just passing 10 degrees 15 20 25 and finally we're at 30 degrees and I'm pulling as hard back as I can and I won't go above 30 degrees so let's push the nose down before we lose too much airspeed so that protection works and we may as well go into our next test which is pushing forward 15 degrees to see if that works as well so we shouldn't be able to go nose down more than 15 degrees so there's 5 10 and 15 nope we're held at that so I'm pushing forward and we can't go any further so that works as well okay let's pull the nose up and let's just get our vertical speed back to uh, back to level flight okay so that works quite nicely now the next protection I'm going to show you is uh, called the alpha floor protection now there are a few more protections involved with this uh, although I'm not sure they're correctly modeled just yet but alpha floor most certainly is this is basically a uh, low speed and high angle of attack warning and it's found a lot of time on people that have come into the Airbus for the first time not quite sure how the uh, the auto thrust works and when coming into land suddenly the aircraft does something completely unexpected the engines spool up uh, and uh, yeah it basically throws their landing off and that is the alpha floor protection kicking in which is shown here on the FMA where it says thrust climb at the minute if I now start to uh, if I just pull up and reduce thrust so I'm going to take the auto thrust off and reduce thrust down so I'm going to basically try and stall the aircraft it's a stall protection so we're at 25 degrees nose up we're losing airspeed and as we watch as the red tape comes down here what I'm looking for now is as we hit the red line alpha floor has just activated so the pitch lowers all on its own automatically and that will get our airspeed back up so that is again a built-in protection I just need to turn the flight director off actually there we go so that is another built-in protection and as you can see the aircraft is now nose down to build up our uh, our airspeed and I can now once alpha floor has uh, disappeared we can start to pull back 
and I'll also give it some uh, some thrust as well. I will pop the auto thrust back on just for the sake of uh, sake of these demonstrations. Okay, so the main protections in normal law are all built into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which uh, which is good to know. So there is one more protection which I do know for a fact doesn't work because I've tested it, and that is the maximum operating speed protection. Uh, basically, if you're in a nose dive, uh, why you would be, I don't know, but if you are pitching down excessively, and uh, or if you've got the thrust up full for toga or mid fly, and you're getting uh, into the overspeed, what would happen is the aircraft should pitch up to reduce the speed and increase the angle of attack. However, this doesn't work. In the real aircraft, obviously it does, and the pilot cannot override the pitch up command, but it, uh, it doesn't work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 just yet. So if you are overspeeding your aircraft, you're on your own. You need to look after that at, uh, at the moment. So very briefly, if you do have a systems failure which pops you into alternate law, you uh, still get some of the protections, but not all of them. I'm not going to go into it in detail, just because they're not modelled yet correctly in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. What I am going to do, however, is show you how, if you wish, you can actually put the aircraft into uh, a very basic direct law. Now, what that means is in, uh, in direct law, there is no protections at all and you're flying the aircraft everything that you do with the side stick with the thrust levers um you're in full control there are no protections there to uh, to protect you so if you're in direct law the pilot control inputs that are transmitted to the control services are done so without any uh, involvement with the computers at all. Um, the control sensitivity also depends on the airspeed and there is no auto trim available. That is very very important. So where uh, you've got auto trim doing what you uh, what you want the aircraft to do, keep you nice and nice and safe, nice uh, G level load factor, etc. That disappears in direct law. Um, you also should get an amber message on the primary flight display, uh, which says use manual pitch trim. That doesn't happen. So um, yeah, that that's not uh, modelled yet on uh, on the A320 in this flight sim. And if you are in alternate law, direct law becomes automatically active when the landing gear comes down, because if there are no autopilots engaged, and that is so that you're in full control of the aircraft uh, for if something had gone wrong earlier on in the flight. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at the computers that the A320 has. And what we're going to do is, uh, well, we're going to turn them off. So, if I turn off the auto, thru auto thrust as well, which means I'm now flying the aircraft completely manually, but still in uh, normal law, so all the protections are in place. If we go up here, we can see where the different uh, computers switches are located. So, the flight control computers. We have two of these ELAC computers which are the elevator and aileron computers they control the elevators the horizontal stabilizer and the ailerons there's one over here and one over here so if we turned both of those off let's see what difference that makes so that controls the elevators and the ailerons there it also controls the horizontal stabilizer however there's another computer that backs that up so if I look to pull back we can see it's very, very sensitive. And I'm pulling back. I'm just looking to see as well as if we've lost that protection of 30 degrees. Still going up and up and up. And yet we've lost the protection as we've got over 30 degrees. So let's go down. 
I'm presuming as well we shall now have lost the protection of 15 degrees nose down and we have so that's good let's pull this back up just reduce the thrust on that I'm also going to have a look at moving the elevators we've lost protection there so we can fly at 90 degrees why you would I don't know but that's the beauty of a simulator you can do what you want so let's just get us uh, flying level again and of course we've now lost auto trim which we shouldn't have really there's another computer on board the spoiler ele elevator computer should uh, help to control as it work as a backup for that however you're now in control of auto trimming the aircraft if you wished so what I'm going to do is turn off now the another three computers which are the spoiler and elevator computers so if we turn these off SEC 1 2 and 3 so now I've actually lost left and right control so we've lost lateral control as you can see hard over to the left nothing happening hard over to the right nothing happening the way to control the aircraft is to use the rudder but you want to be very careful particularly at high speeds using the rudder and you can see losing a bit of control there I'll just bring that back and if I just try to trim that up because we are losing altitude thankfully we had a lot of it to play with uh, there's me trying to turn uh, turn over to the left and level the wings it's not going to happen so have a play around with it if you wish and then finally you can turn off the uh, flight augmentation computers as well so now all the computers are turned off which means oh we're very unstable with no lateral control with the elevators and you can see down here but what is missing is you've got none of the warnings that would come up on uh, on the ecam display so realistically in flight sim 2020 the normal low protections they're all there they're all in place they all work absolutely fine with the small exception of the overspeed protection um and you can put the aircraft into a sort of uh, a sort of direct law if you uh, turn off the uh, the ELAC computers so if we just pop all the others back on leaving the ELACs off so we're now in a sort of direct law here with the ELAC computers off As I've said, it's not perfectly modelled just yet. I'm sure it will be over time. But I hope you enjoyed that little video explaining some of the protections that are uh, that are built in. Realistically, for the sim, you're only going to be flying in uh, in normal law, so those protections are well worth knowing, particularly if you're new to the Airbus. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit subscribe. Please like the video. Feel free to share it. There's be more tutorials as the uh, as time goes on, and of course, there's always live streams as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.